Hey guys, welcome to another post. So there was this one time in my life where I was sick. I mean, I was going to the bathroom every minute, like every less than a minute I was going to the bathroom. It was my final year in college, so I was just going to the bathroom every minute, every minute, every minute, like it was so bad. I mean, going to the bathroom to pee. I was using, I had to pee every minute, every minute, every minute, every minute. I did not want to go to the doctor because I didn't want him to give me a scary report that would make me miss my final exams. I also was just holding on to faith. My Christian faith was stronger then. So I was holding on to faith. I was like, God, you can heal me. You did it in the Bible. I need you to heal me. Because I did not want to go. I did not want to miss my final exams. So um, as this thing was getting so much, it was so bad. I was like, man, is there really a God? Because sometimes you go through some things and you're like, is there really a God? Like, you would just want to walk away from this faith. You know, you just want to walk away. But um, God helped me out. I did not work out from it. So the second thing that happened was... Um, no, actually, so God healed me later on. But it took some time. It did not happen in a month, in two months, or three months. God just healed me, you know, but gradually the thing was going away later, later on, I was finally healed. So I kept on holding on to scriptures like saying, by his stripes we are healed, you know, things like that. So those are the kind of things um, that happen in life. You go through pain and sometimes you question your faith. But the thing about it was that there was a tendency to walk away from my faith. Just a little, you know, a little bitty tendency like, God, are you really there? Did, are the miracles in the Bible really th true? You know, things like that. You just, just um, I keep on asking them like, God, is it really true that you're there and stuff like that. So, um. I was asking questions like that, but God was faithful. His promises were there. He held, I held on. And he also held me to not to fall away and things like that. So um, the second story I want to tell you about was this one was horrible. It was bed bugs. Oh my goodness. I had bed bugs and it was horrible. I mean, it was painful. It was, I didn't, I mean, like I had bed bugs. I was living with these people and um, all of a sudden I just had bed bugs and no one could say no one could um say where the bed box came from but i couldn't sleep i could only barely sleep for like two three hours for a night it happened for like a month six weeks you know it was horrible you know i prayed i literally just prayed and i was like god do something because there was nowhere else for me to go and that day that time i questioned if there really was a god because but you're going through pain and you're like asking yourself like god are you really there like are you really 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 there because this pain was so much it was affecting my work it was affecting my relationship with the people in the house because they thought oh you brought the bed box to the house i'm like this is where i've been sleeping for the past few months i i, I i've not been anywhere i don't have friends over so where did this bed box come from um it took a while it took a while it took a while but you know i just kept asking like god why are you doing this you know why 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 so but my relationship with god was strong was intensified so if i had a place i had a place in my heart where it was like if it's not god it's nothing else like i'd rather die in faith with god than nothing else so here today we'll be talking about why we need to intensify our love for God. Why we need to intensify. There are two major reasons. Number one reason is this. Because God loves us first. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So we need to love God because he loved us first. You know, he loved us first. We need to love him. That's number one reason. Number two reason is because of the pain we are going to go through or we are going through you need to intensify your relationship with christ because of the pain you will go through you're going through you know things like that so um number two reason is because of the pain but how do we intensify our relationship with god like i was telling you about um my stuff about um me with the pain and all that that there was a tendency for me to walk away you know it was because of my relationship with God has been strong. I have been through a lot with God. I would pray for simple things and God would just come through. I would pray for this and God would come through. Or, you know, just His love. You know, He's surrounding me with His love. So I, 
daily on a daily basis i make sure i read my bible i make sure i worship god i make sure i listen to sermons online your turn to sermons online i go to church M most of my friends intimate friends are christians so the love of god is always around me to know that he's always there to always remind myself so when i go through pain heartache being broke and things like that i always consistently remain in god because during the time of plenty like when i say time of plenty when things are good like things are nice you have food in the fridge you have money in your accounts you're healthy you know that time intensify in your relationship with god so i'm going to tell us a few things that we can do number one is fast and pray every monday i try to fast and pray i try to even if it's for just six hours for like 6 a.m to 12 p.m or more than that or from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you know, I just try and fast and pray. Sometimes I'm weak, I drink some water, some Gatorade, you know, some energy, just like some light energy drink, like Gatorade, you know, something like, like that. You just drink something or a cup of milk. Sometimes you cannot fast because of the activities you're doing every time. Because Monday fast is like, eh, I fast every Monday. I try to encourage people around me to fast. This time, you're trying to say, God, I let go of food. You know, I'm letting go of the things that keep me going. I just want your spiritual strength to keep me going. So this intensifies your strength. It helps you connect to your inner man to say, I need you, God. I need you more than ever before. This fasting of a thing helps you redraw from life and focus more on God. You have some prayer points. You're like, God, this is the time I want to pray. This is the time I want to pray and fast and commune with you. Number two is read your Bible daily. Get a Bible plan. I don't believe in just reading one part of the Bible, you know, get a Bible plan that makes you read throughout the whole Bible. The promise of God is in the whole, it's in the whole Bible. It's from Genesis to Revelation. It's mind blowing the things you can get from God when you can just intensify your relationship with Him. I mean, it's just mind blowing when you understand Him more. So read your Bible more, read your Bible more. Because when you're going through pain and hardship, you remember Job when he was going through pain and hardship. And the first thing he said, was God gives and God takes away blessed be the name of the Lord that was right now I'm in Job and that was one of the things Job said to God like God gives and God takes away blessed be the name of the Lord like pain one of the things about pain is it draws you closer to God you know it makes you it's a it's a, like an oxymoron like happy and sad in the same sentence but it makes a beautiful mixture you know it intensify it helps you know that God is so powerful that he can take away the pain away um he can take the pain away sorry so the neck the thing about it is like when Jesus was like going to be on the cross he was going through serious pain but his deep relationship with God helped him he went straight down to pray and all that so number another thing about pain is make sure you're going straight to God first not to people not to your mom your dad your best friend just go and pray about it first like God I need you I need you right now take away this pain or what lessons do you want me to learn from this pain because when Jesus was about to die on the cross it was like oh my gosh this is overwhelming God let it go away I cannot do it I know this is too much but God was there for him and give him the strength actually in the Bible it says God sent an angel and he ministered to him and give him strength you know so you need to intensify your relationship with God because of the pain and one of the ways is by your Bible reading spending time in the presence of God another time thing is worship your music see it's really important that 99.9 .9 actually 100% 100% is what you need because 100% is what I have so 99.9% .9 of your songs you listen to should be Christian songs the 1% left should still be Christian songs because we go through a lot we go through a lot and we need to constantly remind ourselves that God is there God is awesome God is just there for us because I dropped I stopped it was a gradual process it started right in 2010 when I learned worldly musicians have a confidant with the devil so they can be popular rich and famous and they can sing about crap and you just accept it so I dropped the worldly songs away and I started listening to Christian songs and sometimes some, some of these Christian songs have um, 
have awesome things in them like some of them talk about pain sometimes some of them talk about the awesomeness of God some of them talk about the greatness of God so 99% of your songs should be Christian song the remaining 1% again should still be Christian songs so like just keep it going like it keeps you reminding you about God there's so many bands out there on YouTube on oh, like YouTube is my number one spot for worship songs when I get it on YouTube I just go to like Spotify or iTunes to get to intense to get the whole album and things like that but like online you can find free Christian songs free Christian songs you need to intensify yourself so I have this thing like this is a speaker this little Sony speaker right here like I connect it with my phone and I just boom like the presence of God is all around me sometimes I use headphones sometimes I use that little speaker so those kind of things like I just try to create the atmosphere of God like worship draws God nearer to you you worship it's awesome so another thing why you need worship songs all the time is this like especially when you're having a bad time it's just like you're here you're like down here right below and the worship songs you listen to the piece of the person singing is like right above here so like the person doesn't come down to you you have to go and meet the person like at that momentum they are in like they're happy they're excited about God you're trusting God and you know that song just like pulls you closer like it lifts your spirit up and there's, there's some some of the songs I've heard by um, some musicians that they speak really about the pain they break it down like I'm worn I'm torn my life is in pieces I need help Lord my faith is very very little so it's like really really important for you to draw closer to God worship you need to if you want some worship songs about different things you're going through just let me know I'll tell you but right now those are the kind of things that you constantly need to um, you need to like strengthen your faith it helps you draw closer to God worship is really 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 powerful so like I said you need to soak up in worship it's really really powerful because when the pain strikes that is like a drought season when the pain strikes when evil happens sometimes when David was saying in the Psalms he said something that God I feel you're far away from me like sometimes you feel like God is not hearing your prayers it's just like a test it's a little test it's just for a moment because listen another thing why you need to draw closer to Christ is because when that pain strikes we tend to do certain things to hide that pain you know we tend to smoke drugs have sex masturbate another one people try to do is watch a lot of movies and songs you know listen to songs like like your boyfriend broke your heart or your girlfriend cheated on you you get and start listening to songs that talk about it that doesn't help it doesn't heal it just even makes you more angry at you whoever it is so you don't need those things you need to you need to re re um we boost your love for Christ during those moments and know that he will get you out hold on to scriptures you can google scriptures on pain and suffering and it will just show you scriptures in it so please this is why I need you you need to draw closer to Christ is because of your emotions you know your emotions sometimes you need to be you're so happy you need to do something that make you happy instead of drinking smoking and having sex and all that you can turn up the music and boom you're so happy you're so encouraged or when you're sad instead of being high on drugs because drugs will ruin you drugs will ruin you this pain is hard we're human beings you know there's this pain out there so you need to intensify your relationship in Christ because of all the things happening in life so I just want to encourage you today I just want to do a quick prayer for all of us going through pain going through hardship it might be health reasons it might be financial reasons but you're going through something so I just want to pray with you real quick and it goes um, Lord I just thank you for this moment that we have to share that we speak in your word oh Lord keep us safe oh Lord oh Lord I just come in every single person going through one pain or one heartache or something is really really going on in your life they cannot just understand it oh Lord help them give them the strength oh Lord give them the grace to move beyond this pain in Jesus name I pray amen I love you guys subscribe to my youtube channel I put the link right there um, God bless you, love you, bye. If you have questions, let me know.